guys in this video I'm going to show how to get your emails from Gmail by Python script so guys uh, these kind of Python scripts and these kind of tutorials are uh, all over internet but what I have created is something that if you uh, keep this kind of script in a scheduled task it will fetch you your latest mails as as they come because in all the uh, you know on all other scripts on internet which I have seen they are majorly like to get a particular type of mail or to get all the mails so guys let's see how to how we can extract the mails from our gmail account by this python script so without wasting any more time let's get started so guys I am using python 3.6 because uh, uh, whatever is in this is not supported in 2.7 like uh, there are certain functions which are not supported so I'm importing IMP lib and email then time so IMP lib is actually the major role which is going to play in this now here is OS and path because I will be creating some files and will need to write and read them then user is created to write our username and then a password these all are variables now I am app URI is simply getting the URL for the gmail account now in order to get the body of mail i have to create a function rest of the things are easily extractable but body is something which we need to extract like with a different so if the message is multi-part now we are simply telling a definition which will be called and if the message is multi-part then get the payload of the zeroth position of that message and else return none true this is simple now let's move forward now I'll be storing the uh, current time in date underscore time because I need to check whenever the script is run from a particular time to now I will check if there is any new mail now gmail underscore time dot txt is something which will be having the latest mail or the last mail which was uh, received or read by the python so we are going to read now over here if you want your oldest data to come you can simply write your date and time in this txt file you need to create it where the python script will run now i am storing date time in strp form because right now it is in string format so the trick now the thing is we also need utc uh, encoding in this because guys uh, the mail which we will receive on gmail will have the utc time line the time zone and that's why we need to uh, you know just change the things for to date underscore time like that and after that I'll be using strp time and will give it a proper format once the once this is done I need to uh, you know subtract the latest time and the time which was stored previously and I will get the amount of time which is which we require to fetch the data now in con I am using implib finally and mp4 ssl is my way of checking now con dot select inbox now in, instead of inbox if you want some other yeah, like send mail or deleted mail or archive or anything you can write it that way you can get the list from the description box now dates this dates will be having the actual dates which for which the data will be fetched and i have simply subtracted it from date now now in items I have simply said that whatever is in this date please send in and store in this resp and items now and between these two dates and in this format because I am only interested in date and in my use case what I am going to do I if I write 20th August then I will be getting the mail of 19 August also so that nothing is left and now is uh, now I need to split the things in B because it's uh, it will be having two things now I am again opening a mail in a write mode because I need to write the mails in that and hence starting with the loop now late will be consi uh, consisting of all the values which will be subtracted by 801 now here 801 is as per my requirement because I just said I want the latest mail and the mails of a previous day always whenever the script is run if there is any new update then please give the previous mail also this is my use case now result and data will be fetching through the rfc 822 protocol this is in python 
for fetching the mail through gmail we will be using this protocol now raw will be raw will be having email dot message message from bytes and this is what is in python 3 which is not supported in python 2.7 and hence python 3 is something which it will work on now moving forward we shall be printing everything whatever we require like date from and body uh, uh, sorry body is not extracted like this i will show you how body is extracted now uh, i'm going to write all these things in a particular file because that's uh, that's what my another use case is that all my mails are stored in a particular file and that file can be used as in my app or something now this is the format first day from subject and body will be there for getting the body i am using the definition get underscore body and then i am closing the file now i also need to update the time so whatever the last mail is there it will be stored in gmail underscore time dot txt and i will be closing that too hence this is the entire code for getting data from gmail via python you will get all the inbox messages of your gmail account uh, from python this is script and everything will be stored in a file so here is my folder you can see this is my script and if i close it now this is something where is my where my time late last mail received by this script time is stored this time as you can see is something which will be storing the last month and this if we change this remember guys you need to keep the format like this you can just change the values as per your requirement thank you guys for watching this video hope you like it and uh, you can comment down below if any further uh, you require more python scripts or anything else till next time see you